forget this. I'll go to one of the one of the things I actually had put together, and that's what I was gonna show off here, which were a lot of mods from. What is this now? Okay, it loaded the wrong one. But this is a mod from a while ago. Actually, I had quite a few mods I was, I was working on. This is one of the really simplistic ones. I actually uh, got bored one day and figured, you know what? I was going to go ahead and try to remake uh, uh, the first Resident Evil in this. Eh. Results were sketchy at best, but... I only started working on it, I think I got a few hours in, and I'm just going to be bothered. I got distracted by something I forget. So it's... I know... Ah, I forget what this was. I think it was like... It was like 12 when I was making all this. That guy's pretty screwed. Yeah, this was definitely a much earlier version. Because I remember there was a later one in which everything seemed to work correctly. What do you need? I need that. Oh, these guys are idiots. Oh yeah, so that's the problem with the AI here. The, the idea was to play this online. The AI just immediately starts exploring because they don't have any sieves to start building up their thing. Anyway. Let's see. I don't know why Return to Editor caused it to load this, however. Because this doesn't make any sense. So these are all of the scenarios that I... Well, either I downloaded or put together. This was downloaded, this was downloaded, this was downloaded, so it was this. Uh, this was, this is actually one of the really, really worked out ones. This was downloaded, this was downloaded, this was downloaded. I, yeah, Crusade I think was also downloaded. Actually, I don't remember. Might have been. Uh, this was, this was... This one that... This was actually a pretty fun one to play online. This one was a uh, single player, never got into it. This was a... Uh, 1812 mods, there were a few of them. These are mainly Imperial Age kind of uh, fortress type kind of ones. There were quite a few of them, I remember. Same with North versus South. Uh, it was trying to go for the... I think the whole Civil War thing, I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, paintball is one they tried to go around. Uh, I think everything was insta kill. Let's see, paratrooper was another fun one to play online. Each group got uh, got the Lincoln Memorial, so they were able to just parachute uh, 30 people in anywhere and just sort of fight using those and mercenaries. It was a pretty good one. And. This was one that is only playable online. Uh, each person playing got one person. If you didn't have four people, it was uncompletable. Basically using the specials of each of these characters, there was a really specific way to get through it. I never saw anyone actually finish it. Uh, let's see, this one was, uh, was England versus France, I think. It was a whole long thing. This is something or other, I can't remember. And Zombies is actually my version of Aliens using uh, this uh, 45 mod, which I made for... Uh, this was pretty much the only one that I spent a long, long time on. Uh, this is the final version that I had come up with. Again, this was years ago. You, know, you have to consider... 12, 13 years of age, and usually not going to be doing a whole lot as far as these mods are concerned. So this was the whole city here. The idea was like this. Uh, 
typically it was an entire city with a zombie invasion kind of thing going on at once. The city had specifically thought out kind of safe areas all around, so let's just go for a full tour from here. This was kind of the main gate. You got all your uh, kind of army guys over here. Back in the entrance. Uh, these guys did not respawn. However, there were generic zombies that spawned out of this area. But they were pretty much uh, like insta-kill units. The whole idea was that right after this starts, there's a whole swarm of uh, zombies that shows up. It overwhelms this whole area. These guys get by. There's a few of them at each of the entrances. And there are some of these few units that were just made to suddenly show up and make running the only way to get out of a situation. So over here you got your police station type of thing. Uh, pretty much a fortress. But it does have a spawn area right behind it so this wall can get torn down if you're actually hiding in there. Otherwise they'll mainly just ignore that area. Over here you got your uh, in a small residential area with fountain and chickens for some reason. They, well, it didn't have pigeons, I figured chickens, what the hell. Uh, all of these flags here are counting towards the population count of all the people that are playing. It allows them to not actually have houses which show up and give them a camera view. Uh, these are actually just je decorations. Everything green is pretty much decorative and potentially destroyable if the AI sees it as an obstacle. There's a lot that went into decoration here. And over here you got your park. Uh, this was originally planned to be part of, a, part of a campaign to be put together. Since you can put together several mods into a campaign, it can branch off into different routes, that kind of thing. So the idea was if you had screwed up some of the other ones, it would just end with like a last stand kind of thing taking place in this park. Anyway, over here you got your airport, uh, second and third parts, you got uh, planes that you can pull from here in order to drop up some units somewhere. Over here you've got something that was supposed to be like a museum or a university kind of thing, or a bank, partially a bank, large amounts of money in the back there. Over here you got a martial arts school going on. Swords over here and whatnot. Uh, this is another good area to hold out, although again, uh, you got a spawn point over here. You got another one right down here in the forest. So